Yo, what's up my scooter friends? So, the first video I filmed in 2023 and today we are going to talk about street scooter tricks for beginners. Well, if you feel like you're not a beginner, still recommend you to watch this video because I'll show you some very tricky and simple moves. Let's go! But before we start, I gotta introduce you the guys who are gonna help me today. That's the Carlos. Say Hello. hi, man. Yeah, cool. And that dude is Venia. <laughs> what was that? Right. Thank you. And yes, a quick note, we don't have sponsors currently, but we do really cool products for scooter riders. That's the scooter t-shirts, beanies, and also the scooter bags, very original thing, really cool one. Check it out. So the first trick, I'm in doubt that it even has a name. Maybe it will be more correctly to say that it's a move, but it's a cool move that will add some dirt to your style. So notice how he hits the ledge with the deck before he hops on. So the idea is very simple. It's like a hopping on a ledge, but instead of hopping on, you just hit the ledge with the middle of your deck at the last moment, and then you just get on. So important thing, try to give it a little bit of bounce. Also, if you'll be able to find something like this in your skate park, you can train on that one really good. I mean, it's all about the attack angle. With this thing, it times uh, easier, but uh, it's a good thing to practice on. So the best part, you can combine it with other tricks, like uh, manual. To beat. Actually, it's, it looks good, just a bit tricky. <laughs> okay. And also, you can make it down the ledges, kind of this way. When you approach the ledge, and when your deck is on the ledge, you just hop in down. So the cool thing that the down move you can also combine with other tricks. For example, you can make a drop in this uh, one, two, two or three stairs. Yeah. Well, I think you can even do. Almost. Uh, well, I think I can even do the scooter fake it down. Yo. <laughs> So yeah, try to ride your scooter like an off-road vehicle. Sometimes it looks cool, sometimes it's not. Well, I'd like to add from myself that uh, the white pants is the key to the success, always. Well, mine are not that white today, but this guy, Boston. So the next trick is the also obvious one and the easy one. No, it's not a bar spin, it's a nolly. All of you know how to do the bunny hop. Nolly is like an opposite thing. Show sure enough the nolly. That's the nolly, for example. So yeah, it's a bit hard to do it like high. And be careful with jumping on the ledges with the nolly because you can literally make the face height transfer. But what you can do with nolly, you can combine it with other tricks then. For example, look at me making 180. Ha, huh, zero respect. But when you do Nolly 180, yo, looks a lot better, right? I'm not sure if it's on camera, but <laughs> I'll make it one again. No, that was a pivot. With Nolly, you gotta jump. You can start with a pivot and then just jump out. Yeah, yeah, kind of it. But what they don't tell you is that you can also do the nolly landing on a flat trick. Don't do it in drop tricks, you'll die. So when you usually land tricks, you always want to land on two wheels. Unless you want to add some this stylish dirt to your tricks. So quick example with a bunny hop. Instead of landing like that, I want to do this quick touch. Like that. And with bunny hop, it doesn't look interesting. But let's check it out again with a 180. So you see, you let the scooter to land on the front wheel first, and it adds some extra little moves. Another cool thing, this one. So while you're just making the fake, you can also perform that thing. 
And of course you can combine it with other tricks, it all depends on your imagination. So now let's switch to some more difficult tricks. And of course the main thing for a beginner is to knowledge drop. I don't like knowledge drops, but I'll give you a quick example. So with the knowledge drops you want to start with something not at all, like this thing, and you always want to have enough speed. Yeah, kind of. Yes, another good example. Wow, <laughs> this one foot bunny hop up. So the third street trick for beginners. We spoke about 180 a lot. What about opposite 180? Let me explain you that. But I'll show you. So once again, you are an average scooter rider and you want to make the 180 and uh, look stylish. How do you do that? Like that? Ah! Well, it's not bad. But have you ever heard about opposite 180? Well, what's the opposite stage for? For opposite spin. So in my case, instead of spinning clockwise, I'm going to spin counterclockwise, like that. And there is one important moment. If I'll just do the opposite 180, it's gonna look like that. Well, it's not bad, unless you find out that there's another way to do the opposite 180s. And it times better. So if you want your opposite 180 to look better, the key is to land it a bit different way. Well, I would usually just jump and land like that. I better try to land it with my tools pointing at the rear wheel side. <laughs> well, it's a bit tricky to get out. Yo! <laughs> um, so it was the tail whip to opposite 180. Okay, and the next trick is Smith. So yeah, we usually consider that the feeble is the general beginner grind, but Smith is another grind which is a bit more difficult and most of riders usually associate it with a street style. By the way, we have a good tutorials for both Feeble and Smith grind on this channel. So if you really want to learn how to smith quickly, just check out the tutorials. And here I'll just give you some extra tips. Try to jump on and off the ledge uh, with the smith grind and better choose something not at all uh, so you just feel comfortable and get the idea how the scooter feels on a smith position. And second tip, you don't need the front pegs to do the smith grind. Because now the decks are that wide that you can afford yourself to do 50 to do smith grinds without any problems. Well, if you're already good enough and you feel like you still need a pex, yeah, go on, it's not a problem. And it's very easy to combine smith and feeble. It might be your first combo as a beginner. <laughs> yeah. Was it smith to feeble to smith, right? Good. So the last trick today will be a bit difficult one. All previous tricks, they're totally suitable for beginners. Maybe sometimes we show some difficult variations of that trick, but all of the previous tricks are totally fine for beginners. You don't even have to know how to tail whip to do that trick. Well, for this trick, you better do it. Bro, are you dead? I got you, you're not. So the last trick is the heel whip. What's the difference between tail whip and heel whip? Can you tell me? That was the tail whip. That's the heel whip. The difference is that you spin your deck in opposite direction. Yo, such a nice heel whip. Yes. Ooh. I've been watching hell whips so like it. Hey, can you land it in a back foot? Like that. So yeah, it seems like we don't have the tutorial for heel whip on our channel, but we'll have it soon. And in this video, I'll just give you a little order on how to heel whip. So first of all, that's a really genius life hack. You gotta learn the turn down, which looks like this. You just jump and you do 
this thing with the deck. So you don't need necessarily do like the whole turn down like this hard. You just gotta learn this shifty move like <laughs> like that. For the beginner, it's more than enough if you can do something like that. Easy, right? If you feel it, you can also make it a bit more aggressive like that. So it's one more trick and it's very useful in learning the heel whip because this way you can learn how to control your deck in this direction and then it will not be difficult for you to throw the heel whip. So if you know how to tail whip and you've learned this move already, you just gotta practice a little bit in spinning the deck in a heel whip direction. And then the same story that you had with a tail whip, just practice it and you'll land it. <laughs> so yeah, that's where five street tricks for beginners and not only for beginners. If any of these tricks were useful for you, press the like button and to remind me in comments what we missed. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and the best way to support us, you already know, is to buy something on a school shop. Cool scooter bags. And you see, we are making one video per week and I'm already thinking about two videos per week. So your likes and comments always give me the extra motivation. See you in the next video. Bye.